there's been a major leap forward for legal weed and states' rights. I do condone. I condone it for my mom, for sure. And we can thank an unlikely pair of senators for it, Colorado Republican Cory Gardner and Massachusetts Democrat Elizabeth Warren, together introduced a bill that would allow states to regulate marijuana without federal interference. And guess what? President Trump is reportedly on board. Take that, Jefferson Beauregard Sessions. Earlier today, Gardner and Warren told Dana Perino how it would work. Watch. Right now that, for example, in Colorado and soon in Massachusetts, someone who buys marijuana, someone who sells marijuana, is complying with state law, but they are in violation of federal law, and that puts them at risk. This is not a legalization bill. Mm -hmm. This doesn't change the schedule. This just says if a state like Massachusetts or Colorado decides to legalize, then that would be allowed under federal law. Absolutely right, Cory Gardner. And it is important to note that the act, again, doesn't legalize pot federally. And the president only, only supports it because Senator Gardner promised to hold up his Department of Justice nominations. Or not hold them up. Uh, so does this mean the president no longer sees eye to eye with hardcore drug warrior Jeff Sessions? Our AG, so troubled, the panel is back. Partiers Bree Payton, Lawrence Jones, and Matt Welch. Uh, so, Bree, I will start with you, because there are a lot of states who are looking at this revenue base, regardless of how they feel about the devil's lettuce, and they're saying, you know what, I would love to fund my school. I would love to have free money because my pension obligations have almost bankrupted my state. <laughs> I definitely agree that this is a step in the right direction. I think that states should be allowed to do this. I mean, I live in D.C. It's legal there, uh, but federally it is illegal. Mm -hmm. And, it, I mean, it strikes me as kind of funny because the literal address for the federal government is in the same city, right? Like, can we talk about how absurdly this is regulated? I think it makes sense to just recognize the way that states want to do it. I think definitely step in the right direction. Um, and I kind of like that he's disagreeing with Sessions on this issue because I think Sessions is terrible on this he, issue. He's awful on this issue, yeah. absolutely. I mean, and he's very anti-freedom on this and a number of other things which we've talked about many times. Is this the death knell for Jeff Sessions? Is, well, is, this, is he now officially done? Alice Johnson is free. We'll talk about her a little later in the show. And now weed may be freely flowing through the bong tubes of America. <laughs> I said this last week on your program. If the president really wants to get back at Jeff Sessions, get him to reform criminal justice reform, force him to do it because he can do that as the executive. And and as it relates to weed, um, tell him to back off. Yeah. Um, and and this is just simple. I mean, the the president is on this opioid high. Well, there's studies to show that people that take marijuana. They get off of opioids. States where um, recreational marijuana is legal, yeah. they have fewer opioid deaths. overdose yeah. deaths. Yeah. So th this is something that the president can, can, quite frankly, put with his agenda. I think mm -hmm. this is a great move. Jeff Sessions, bye. Yeah, and uh, it, it's interesting because there are some areas of bipartisanship you don't want to see come to fruition, like infrastructure. You know, it's incredibly right. expensive. We can't afford it. But Republicans and Democrats, for some reason, they both love it. And, you know, we can have a, a talk about privatizing infrastructure at another time. But criminal justice reform and states' rights and cannabis legality, those are actually good areas. And it's members. happening from the bottom up. I mean, the, we only have uh, state legal marijuana because of the ballot initiative process. It wasn't because of a bunch of brave politicians. Politicians are getting to all this kind of stuff late. It's is wildly popular in America. Americans overwhelmingly everywhere they live believe that the federal government shouldn't be involved in state government experiments in legalizing marijuana. In general, Americans think we should have legal marijuana. So you can tell Republicans this is a federalism issue. You used to care about this. Let's care about this now. And you can tell Jeff Sessions, the same thing that his uh, uh, U.S. attorneys had told him, you don't have enough cops. There just has never been enough of federal cops to enforce the federal prohibition on marijuana. So if you want to go in there and try to raid dispensaries in California like Barack Obama did in his first mm -hmm. term. That's absolutely right. You, you don't have enough people. And so you're wasting resources. Like we have actual criminals. And on cops the know it. The cops know it. Yeah. There, there are violent, awful right. people out there uh, who wish to do others harm. And those people are the ones that 
law enforcement should be going after. Exactly and you right. see them flipping on the on the state and local level uh, cops on this pr uh, exact issue for this exact reason. This will be a way for Donald Trump to hit, to hit wild applause, bipartisan applause with the public everywhere. Yeah. It is such a win-win. And afterwards, people can start talking about mandatory minimum sentencing yes. reform yes. and eventual federal yes. legalization. But for now, let's just get this federalism thing yep. done. But it's I, a huge absolutely. deal. But in, and it's a great step in the right direction. I want to thank you all for thank being you. here. It's, it's great to see you. I don't know if we'll see you again. I hope so, because uh, I love each and every one of you, Bree, Lawrence, and Matt.